guys welcome back to the channel tell me why i'm just trying to look cute but this thing is like not working but we're gonna make it work so in today's video i'm gonna do the long awaited q &A. it's literally rainy that's why i'm all like cozy the other week i asked you guys on instagram and youtube to ask me questions also guess you got a new phone but yeah i don't know if you guys could even tell hopefully you can because that's literally the whole point i got the phone so i'm just gonna start with like the easy ones not that there's any like personal personal questions on here um i'm gonna start with like the most asked ones i guess you can say so the most asked question so far is like why did i start youtube how did i get my channel to grow just like everything about my youtube all right so what inspired you to become a youtuber so ever since i was little i've always like been around a camera i guess you can say which i mean it's like pretty normal especially when you're like a little kid for like your parents to like record you and stuff but ever since i was like four i'm gonna literally try to find that video because i was there like four years old me and my sister um we put up the camera and we were playing with like play-doh i think i can't really remember what we were playing with that's literally like from when i was a little kid i would record myself doing things and then when i was in elementary school so like first literally first grade me and my sister started our youtube channel and the I mean, we still have that YouTube channel up, but we took all the videos down because that's so embarrassing. I actually do want to make a separate video of like me and my sister reacting to our videos because I literally don't remember when was the last time I watched one of those. I'm going to try to do one of those videos when my sister comes and visit. I feel like a lot of people had YouTube channels when they were younger too, but like we started to take it serious kind of. I think we had like, we had quite a, let me check actually. I'll just show you guys. We would just make like challenge videos. And it's crazy because we did that for about two years. But we never really got anywhere. So I think that's why we kind of stopped. My sister would literally do all the work. And it was, it's like funny to think about now. Because in the videos, I was so quiet. And then my sister would be the one talking, talking, talking. And then she would edit the videos. What the heck? One of our videos are still up. Wait. I'll show you guys this was our channel i would kind of like make vlogs for fun if you guys like if you guys are an og like og og like you would have seen my cheer video from middle school which it was only in like 2021 like when i was in eighth grade and i uploaded that video but if you guys remember that video and it's obviously not on my channel no more because like i was so different back then but well, those were like for fun same with the my first video on this channel and jocelyn's keens of vlog those were just for fun it was just for the memories you know something else the whole editing thing like in school projects i would always be the one to edit them i don't know editing is just like it's fun like it's something i really like to do i mean I, there's definitely things to improve on with my editing style i'm still practicing i'm still learning that's what i meant to say i'm sorry that took forever to explain next question all right this kind of goes along with the last question but this person said what well, made you start youtube or any other youtubers so yeah there's people that have definitely inspired me like literally my favorite youtubers angie bieber um definitely the liza um natalie those are like the main people i watch but like here and there i'd be watching like smaller youtubers i don't have their names memorized i think there's this girl katherine oh my gosh my girl angie should be commenting on every one of my videos um she has a youtube too so you guys should go check that out people are asking stuff about me and my boyfriend so i want to like keep those for our own separate q a but he literally no tell me why i was gonna film it with him that same day i posted on instagram like ask us questions for a couple's q a but he didn't want to do it like, we're gonna sit down and eat Wingstop and film the video. Also, guys, look at my pink hydro flask. It's so cute. Uh, someone said, do you have siblings? Yes. Yes, I do. I haven't brought them to the channel yet because, I don't know, they're all older. I'm the youngest in the family. So, yeah, I have one brother, two older sisters. Um, my oldest one, 
she's like 22 the other sister she's 18 she's currently in texas that's why i mean that's kind of the reason why i haven't brought her to the channel and then my older sister she has her own apartment um so that's kind of why too because I, I don't see her that much she she does come over sometimes but um like whenever i'm filming like she's never around and i definitely want to make a video with them in the future oh yeah i think this one goes along with the youtube question but my girl emilyn said did you ever feel like giving up when you saw no change no big change and how did you keep going i think she's talking about youtube but to be honest i never really felt that way just because like youtube is more of a on the side thing as of right now like it's not my career obviously i'm literally still in high school and working a normal job so i haven't been put under that kind of stress or like pressure to like constantly post videos i've never really felt that way even with the whole like not seeing a big change because i know that's gonna take time for my channel to grow and to actually get out there but that's where my effort comes in to actually keep posting these videos i really enjoy what i'm doing and ever since i hit like 10k it's just motivated me even more to like create content i got a few questions about my future and like what i want to do someone says what's your plan a career and what's your plan b career literally for the longest time i had no idea what i wanted to do my parents my family would always ask me oh like what do you want to do after high school um and i'd always be like i don't know i don't know yet like i've always had different interests but never like a full career of what i want to do i don't necessarily have a plan a or plan b option but i do have different ideas first is like an OBGYN nurse nurse assistant whatever that's called OBGYN something something to do with that or literally anything that has to do with like being a part of a woman's pregnancy and then something else I'm interested in is an aesthetic nurse but something to do with like Botox lip fillers I think that's gonna be really cool and to be honest basically anything that has to do with beauty I'm obviously going to go to another school next year that teaches me stuff about it. So I'm going to see how much I like it. They asked, how much time does it take to do your makeup? Honestly, it depends. So when I had my extensions in, I don't know why it took just as long. Um, I think it was my brows that took the longest. So if I don't put lashes on, it probably takes like 35 minutes. Probably 40. I'm going to say 40. And then if I put falsies on, probably like 50 minutes. She said, how long have we been friends for? Um, me and Dea have been friends for four years. Sixth grade, I just knew her. Seventh grade, we had the same advisor class. And then eighth grade, um, we had the same class too. It was like in the COVID year. So we didn't go back to in-person school until like March of like that school year. And then over the summer, I remember I went to her house and then that's like when we got really close. And then we got even closer because we went to the same high school. We like stuck with each other ever since. And then, yeah. Um, How tall are you? I'm like 5'2", like 5'1", five 5'2", five somewhere around there. How has life been treating you? Um, Life has been pretty good. I'm honestly happy where I'm at right now. I, I just wish I had like more friends that's like the only thing like life is going great right now i just wish i had more friends someone said red flags for guys so i feel like my biggest red flag just how they treat people in general because like let's say all right let's say like my friend is going on a date with this guy she's never met before i'd be like okay girl you're gonna see how they treat the waitress or something or like the host because literally if they don't say like thank you or if they don't use their manners and that's definitely a big red flag because you already know that's that's the same way they're gonna treat you you know um thank you you're welcome this is my brother guys side eye someone said any quince tips oh girl i can make a whole separate video about this choose your dress very wisely because if i could change my dress i really would like don't get me wrong i love my dress but it was kind of like 
I was very close-minded and I didn't want to try anything else besides that one. So the first place I went, I tried on the dress I have. Then my sister was telling me like, no, we can't come into a dress because you need to try more things on. And my brain just was like, no, I want the first dress. Like that's the dress I've been wanting for the past like year because I saw it like the year before. This is the dress I'm going to get. I just really wish I would have tried more things on because deep down I knew that it wasn't my dream dress. Definitely be careful on who you invite to um, because there can be like girls out there that don't even like you but will show up to your party. But luckily that didn't happen to me. Like there, no, cause, no, let me tell you guys. I'm gonna explain more on the separate video but there, there was like these guys, right? That came to my party and like they didn't even say hi to me and I take that very personal because like it's just like respect like, this has nothing to do with the guys i've never talked before i don't really care about that but the guys i would like i knew and like would talk to here and there they didn't say hi to me and i'm like how am i gonna go out of my way to invite you but you're not even gonna say hi someone said what's your go-to starbucks drink i'm gonna just take this off bro like i i tried i really tried to be cute so whenever i do go to starbucks though i would get like an iced chai with the cold foam whenever they have their their pumpkin flavor i would always get the pumpkin cold foam it was it was so good or if not just the like normal vanilla cold foam um, or i'd get the strawberry like it's not my favorite drink lately but i would get the strawberry acai lemonade with like a few pumps of raspberry but i don't i say like no inclusion which is like the strawberry chunks Oh yeah, I'd also get like a mango dragon fruit lemonade. It has to be lemonade, bro, or else I will not drink it without the inclusions as well. Anyways, those are the drinks I would get. But if you guys have a Dutch, I hardly go to that either. But Dutch is really good too. Um, honestly, I haven't tried a whole lot from there. I mean, the Rebels are all right. I feel like they all taste the same. But definitely um, the Christmas morning chai with the soft top and the sprinkles that was so good and then it would just make my stomach hurt like not even gonna lie Dutch be making my stomach hurt or i would get like a strawberry i don't know if it has a name but it's a strawberry peach green tea extra sweet that one's bomb too what do you do when there's drama about you or a rumor so i haven't been involved in like a whole lot of drama so yeah there has like it's been months since these things have happened so i feel like i'm okay to say it on here but i'm not gonna go full into detail just in case because i don't know like if they're watching this last year this girl just like say things about me she make posts no her friend made a post about me before yeah i get you're her friend but the situation literally has nothing to do with you so yeah they're just like those types of girls that just be starting things for no reason i don't know if they like mature i don't know if they've changed let me tell you girls are weird i don't know what goes through a girl's mind when they're like oh my gosh like, i'm taking her man I'm like girl you think that's cute why are you proud of it if you are in a relationship started texting some other guy that's in a relationship go focus on your own relationship why are you trying to come into his life again when you know that we're happy it's just weird honestly though the best thing to do is to ignore it but i feel like ignoring it i'm talking about the girls that are trying to start drama and like bringing my name up with like those types of girls literally don't even react because that's just gonna make them so much more mad and it's funny it's really funny because because all they want is a reaction you're the one that's not gonna be bothered and it's just gonna be one-sided beef so my girl angie said how did you feel when the youtube started to grow to be honest it still really hasn't hit me yet but at the same time i feel like more motivated and like proud whenever i like watch my videos back i'm kind of like cringe because i've never really liked hearing my own voice so i'm like dang people actually enjoy my videos all right someone said do you want to start doing meetups with your friends slash supporters once when your youtube starts growing to be honest i'm not really sure i'm not that social for me to do that i mean if i get more comfortable with 
myself i would obviously love to meet you guys but i just need to get more comfortable you know i don't want to overwhelm myself in any type of way do you have any insecurities if so what are they girl i have a ton but i'm not gonna come on here to point every single out but just to answer the question probably my nose i actually do like my nose from the front but like from the side i don't what are your favorite songs i'm gonna play my top three songs I really like the song right now. And then my third one, it'd probably be this one. What are your biggest icks in the guy? Probably bad hygiene. Like if you're like stinky and like don't shower, then no. no have you ever gone to a fight girl no i have not i don't plan on it i don't want to i feel like fights are just pointless they're too petty but yeah guys i've been recording for like over an hour but i hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully i answered your question um thanks for watching and let me know what else you guys want to see in the comments but yeah i'll see you guys in my next video